the dogs got scared. Because <laughs> they didn't know who that was. So I have the uh, cemetery laid out and mostly propped up. I gotta go fix that guy over there. I still have to do all the lighting. Well, hey, it's Rob. And uh, yeah, I still don't have my editing rig set up, so I'm shooting all this on my phone. Uh, outside in the front yard at night because uh, I'm going to be doing some Halloween lighting and uh, trying to set up the lighting in the daytime is a little on the difficult side. At night it's a little easier, so well, it's a little easier to see. Anyway. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that tonight. Well the first part of the lighting is going to be the power input. Um, for that what I've got, I've got this uh, tune thingy. That's part of this uh, setup from Home Depot that I got so many years ago. And I'm going to be using this for the, uh, basically for the coverage of, of the covering, the power uh, so I've got a alright, let's uh, try this again I guess. Um, messed up. All right, I've got the inside of this that I've got set up for the power inside of the tomb. Uh, let's see, where where are we? Uh, this year I'm using a power supply, just a plug-in power supply that I had, a uh, bench power supply. Uh, this is capable of going up to 30 volts, but right now I just have it sitting at 12 because all of my lights are 12 volts this year. Another part of this that I have is a, a modified uh, light sensor that I put on here so that it turns on and off at dusk. Turns on at dusk, turns off when the light comes up in the morning. So this should be ready to run right now. Let me try it. And sure enough, it is running at uh, a little over 12 volts, which is just perfect. So right for these, I need to route these wires up on the uh, up on the pins or on the uh, what's your majiggies? I can't think of the name of them. The stands, uh, and then I can hook them up to some more cabling. And the first light is working. So now I just have to do the rest of them. Alright, so some of these lights that I'm using are these little 1 watt LED lights. And the way that I'm mounting these is I have a couple of nails and these have these little mounting holes. Uh, yeah, I suppose you can probably see one of them right there. So I just stick the mounting holes through and pop it in the ground and I now have this cute little posable one watt little uh, little light. Okay I don't have any of the front lighting in but that's just a backlight and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Second one in highlights the spooky skeleton a little bit. Okay, this is just with the back lights on. I don't have any of the front lights. Uh, and I do have the flame lights going. So it's still not completely done. This kind of bums me out because I didn't have a light that could go long enough over to this one. I might move that one back in a little bit. But I think for right now, this looks pretty good. I think I'm going to call it for tonight and come out in the morning because the colored ones are a little more uh, labor intensive. And I'll uh, probably do some better cable routing <laughs> once it's all uh, said and done. But do that tomorrow when it's uh, a little lighter. <laughs>